Hey guys, what's up? So, having this weird issue with uh, my Ford truck here. Um, pop the hood real quick. Um, I'm running a code scan on it so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, pop the hood real quick. Alright. So, ever since I. replaced. Uh, my sorry. All right, guys. So, um, ever since I've actually replaced that exhaust back pressure sensor, um, I've actually had this weird popping, uh, almost like backfiring through the turbo, and it only does it at altitude. And it did throw a check engine code. I haven't looked at what it is, but. Um, I've actually uh, just bought a house from Big Bear, and I've been going up there quite a, a bit, and um, it's only actually happened since I've replaced the back pressure sensor um, with that cheaper one. So, this is the original one I took off there. You can kind of see it's a little bit um, a little dirty in there, but um, yeah, it's weird. It happens in the exact same spot, and it's only in altitude. It doesn't happen down at sea level. So... And, like, when I actually took it up there with this back pressure sensor, I never had that problem before. So I don't know if that's the back pressure sensor problem. But it feels like it's, like, a, at a certain... I'm in overdrive, it seems like. The engine's starting to go, uh, go under load. And I hear, like, a pop, pop, and I feel like I'm losing power. So I was looking online last night, and they were calling, saying that was, like, a uh, turbo backfire. Or maybe turbo fart. I'm not sure what they were calling it, but... Yeah, so it's, it scares me because I'm I'm already in the mountain roads and you can't pull over anywhere. So I'm like, so the way I remedy is I put it, I take it, uh, I put a tow to keep the RPMs up and the load down, and it doesn't happen again until I get there. I mean, it's fine after that. So, but if I'm under a load going up the hill, that's why I, I feel it. But what's weird is it happened in the exact same spot, the exact same area of the road, twice. So weird so only in high altitude so when I give it some boost or when this thing's under load I feel like pop pop losing some power so I'm gonna put this I'm gonna clean this out and put it back on the original one I think that's a motorcraft one uh, but at the same time I'm gonna check these codes real quick to see uh, what's happening here with my torque app here but yeah it's scary dude it scared the shit out of my wife I mean she was a uh, yeah, it popped while we're out on a mountain road, you know, so, you know, it was, clearly you could feel the car like, lose power, and then it get, it would, the power would go back to normal, pop, lose power, so, um, all right, let me check out the code, see what we got. All right, guys, hope you can see that. So, I'm going to go back, this is my gauges, I'm connected to the ECU, I'm going to check for fault codes. Well, last time I went in the mountains, I was giving me uh, exhaust uh, it's P O P zero Okay got some body fault too so it's P zero four seven zero obviously it's back pressure sensor that's this thing right here. So, I never actually got this code before until I put that cheapo uh, back pressure sensor on there. So, I guess I'll try. I, think, I believe this is the original factory motorcraft. You know, made in Mexico. That's the part number on it. But, uh, all right, I'm going to put that back on there and see if that makes a difference. And then, I need to, let's see, clear these, clear faults. Yes. Yeah, I need, I don't want to. I'm gonna be going back and forth up to the mountains a lot here in, in the future here. So getting the cabin ready, you know, doing a lot of work on the cabin. So um, I need to have a reliable truck. Um, let's see, key off, key on. Mm, check engine's still on. So let's see. That's weird. Why did they not turn off? Okay. 
Yeah, but that's... Yeah, that's fine. Why is the check engine light on? Oh, let's see if I start this thing out. There it goes. <laughs> we turn it up. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. All right, I'm going to replace that sensor. All right, so hopefully I can get that on the light where you can see it. All right, there's a lot. It's a little coked up in there. It's not totally clogged up, but I'm going to um, use my screwdriver to get that, that uh, carbon out of there, and then I'm going to use a little MAF cleaner, MAF sensor cleaner. I, I don't want to use carb cleaner, obviously, because it could destroy the diaphragm in there. So, um, yeah, MAF cleaner. So, we'll see. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's that's the exhaust back pressure sensor. I had to take the air, 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 air box off. But, all right, we'll see what happens. You guys probably won't be able to see this, but I'm trying to get in the right light. Whereas the design is different. It looks like the diaphragm internally is different. With the cheapo one versus the, I think this is a real one, Motocraft. All right, guys, so at the same time, I, was, I looked at the map sensor wiring, and I don't see any cracks, but it, it is getting very, very, it's getting stiff, really super stiff. So I'm assuming this is probably the original one. But lots of times these will break and leak in here, but I don't, a lot of times I don't, I don't like using these sleeves because if you have a crack in there, it will hide the crack. So let me show you this cool tool I have. I thought that's for Christmas one year. It's a little razor blade craftsman thing. It's perfect for cutting hoses, but you know. It feels like a perfect clean cut. Alright, let's make sure this thing doesn't have any problems, man. Alright. Alright guys, here are my torque app. So, <clears throat> I created a special screen just to troubleshoot this problem. I have exhaust back pressure, map, uh, ver variable geometry turbo, the percentage, the, uh, what's it called, the utilization, duty cycle, that's what they call it, um, and the borrow, barometric pressure. So I'm not sure about the PowerStroke 6 but I know usually with my other EFI systems, barometric pressure means uh, it does like an altitude reading. So it knows where you're at, like altitude-wise. So it makes adjustments based on your altitude. So we'll give this a go and see what happens and um, see if that uh, thing pops. So I guess it's the end of the video. Um, so if it corrects the problem, then I'll come back and I'll comment on the uh, video. And say that was the issue, but yeah, we're getting like some gnarly like turbo intake popping at this one section of road. Maybe just a certain altitude. I, I don't know. Maybe the load I'm under. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, it's very annoying. But I mean, lots of I've been going back and forth the mounts a lot, so gotta get that thing fixed. So awesome.